Hello YouTube and welcome diecast enthusiasts. I hope you're all well. Here is this week's Friday film feature. Today we are focusing on the classic horror film Christine. Um, what I'm going to do for you today is just show you some of my dioramas featuring the 1958 Plymouth Fury as we know that's depicted in the film. Very famous car. Um, they are predominantly Johnny Lightning and the final one is Auto World but of course we know they come from the same family round two so they won't be dissimilar. Um, firstly we we'll take a look at this one which I do particularly like especially being in the weathered and rusty finish. Um, an awful lot of work goes into these I believe to get them to look so authentic. These really look nice on display. Um, nice little figures there. But hopefully you can see that's a really great finish. Faded paintwork there. Superb. Um, Arnie, this thing isn't worth 50 bucks. But of course we know that it is. Um, it's on a tin background which gives that nice 3D effect of the ramshackle buildings in the background there. Um, on the reverse of the card we have information, some wording about the film which I won't read out, some other products as in Ghostbusters available in the range. Um, it's the Silver Screen Machines range, full colour tin collector display, vehicle with die cast metal body and chassis, rubber tyres, Arnie and Dennis figures. So I hope you agree with me that is a very nice little set. Now next in line I have a twin set, um, again from Johnny Lightning, the silver screen machines there. And this is Repertons Reckoning. Um, now this features of course the Plymouth Fury and the 1967 Chevy Camaro in a nice silver grey there with black striping down the hood. Um, this version of the Plymouth is of course the one that is in a beautiful showroom condition with the chrome wheels and white wall tyres there. It's got an opening hood but because I keep these enclosed in their cards and packets the band is still holding that in place. Hopefully it doesn't do any damage to the paintwork but I believe these still look better on the card in my opinion um, so I will plan to keep it like this again with soft rubber tyres, die cast metal body and chassis um, new for 2017 so we, we know that was released a little while ago some features there on the back again some lettering about the film and the car itself let you have a closer look. Nice detailing on the reverse there. And there's the Camaro. Nice chrome wheels and white text around the tyres. Lovely muscle car. And the garage there in the background on the backing card. Now the next one coming up is from the scene of Darnell's do-it-yourself garage. As you can see another version that's in the showroom condition. Now in the garage itself we have some tools and workbenches and such like. Um, a big rack there holding 
parts. We've got the sheeted background there depicting the inside of the garage itself. Um, again, as you can see, I keep this one on the card and in the pack. Um, on the reverse side, again, text about the film. Again, advertising the Ghostbusters Ecto. Give you a little close up. Um, very similar to the car previously. Got nice little twin painted headlights and rear lights painted also, red interior. So, hopefully, you can see that. That's very nice. Now, finally, um, this one is my favourite diorama, and this is under the guise of Auto World. Um, sorry about that, focusing. Um, now they've separated the car, as you can see, from the interior of the garage. Accurately scale die cast metal body and chassis rubber tires opening hood again with the version the restored condition um some lettering there on the back true 164th scale some film cells printing on the sides and again there you can see some of the pictures from the films, or the film I should say. So that's a nice touch. Now what I've got here is I'm fortunate enough to have two of these sets and I do like this diorama so I'm able to use this for other cars. So I'll just put that there and the car that you saw just a moment ago inside the box is like so. Um, it's wired there into the carded base but that is very nice indeed um, with the blacked out windows this time so it's the evil version. Um, it does slightly differ from the, this car here but not an awful lot um, now what I'll do I've got a car that I've, has come from my display um, as you can see this is pre-restored um, with some gloss paintwork as well as faded roof and wings white wall tyres of course hubcap missing from the front wheel opening bonnet with some weathered detail inside nice engine um, missing hubcaps from both wheels this side Focusing, unfortunately, is going in on the diorama in the background. But that's very nice indeed. What I'll do is I'll place that inside the garage. So we know that that fits okay. And I'll give you a closer look of the car on display there. Um, I'll give you a little look at the garage interior itself. Now you can see we've got the stairwell there unfortunately leading to nowhere um, and again the workbench and tools and parts we've got the rack there, got some spare tyres um, some sort of water or oil dispenser can there but it's very nicely detailed the window there in the background. Um, the side sections are carded but 
you know that just finishes it off nicely if you want to keep it within this of course it will separate from the card itself it's wired there in the back so that's really it for that diorama um, if you haven't got one of these then I would suggest if you're able to find any they are a very nice addition what I'll do I'll just zoom in on that to finish off now hopefully you've enjoyed this little short Friday film feature um, all being well I'll be back next week with another feature but all it remains for me to say is take care stay safe and bye for now